Hi guys, Happy New Year. I am back with a video. Hope you guys had an awesome holidays. Um, I thought I would um, film something different this time. Um, I wanted to do like a how to um, tie a scarf kind of video. So um, don't mind the background noise. I have a bunny and she's kind of eating a box, a cardboard box. That's like her, that's like her life. Like she loves tearing it apart. Um, so Anyway, I hope you guys had a great holidays, and um, now that it's, you know, winter time, it's all about bundling up. So yeah. I have two kinds of scarves here. I have an oversized or like a super long knitted scarf, and I have a oversized um, blanket scarf or square scarf. So this one is long, and it's not um, big width-wise, it's long length-wise. So I'm going to start with that. So I just hope this helps you guys, um, I don't know, because sometimes some people don't know how to deal with an oversized scarf. So I just thought I would show you guys. So this is a scarf from Zara that I've had for um, a year now, I believe, probably. So it's like super long, right? Like it's really, really long. Okay. And so the first way to wear it is like the super simple generic way of wearing it. Like it's, I mean, like the way I wear it, it's pretty um, effortless and just kind of, I don't know. I just kind of like smush it around. I don't know. So this is one way. So I basically do the loop and I'm sure you've, you've done this before, but it, this is just the most simplest way to do it. Just like loop it in. And then this thick part here, you just kind of drape it and hook it to the side. And then you just put your coat on. And then I like to leave the tails out. I don't tuck it in the coat because that way you won't be bulky. Like you'll have that bulky look if you tuck in the tails because the tails are like a lot of fabric. So obviously you're going to be like bulging out in ways you don't want to be bulging. So, um... So yeah, so that's one super easy way and it's already warm and functional and stylish at the same time. And then I also wear it this way where I totally um, extend it and kind of twist the ends just for some texture. Okay. So I just kind of twist it like that. And then... I just kind of just hook it around my neck, both sides, like so. So now, this, you can wear it, you know, as is. Like some people just wear it like that, like it's super long. And um, sometimes I also just tuck this tail in. And kind of make it a little looser so that's another way and then I kind of like put that in there so that's another way it's like a loop but you tuck it in I don't know I don't have names for these but I'm just showing you how I basically wear them okay and then so once you're at this point you can also just because it's so long you can tie it one more time so this is when it's like super, super cold out. You tuck in this part. So now it's more snug. And then sometimes you tuck this part in as well so that it's like super snug. That's like when you don't want any cold air to get in. And then you tuck everything in your coat. So, or you can also leave the tails out if you like. It depends on what style coat you're wearing. But, um, yeah, so this is when you don't want a lot of cold air coming into your neck because nobody wants that. But um, anyway, so that's one. And then sometimes you just, I usually just leave this hanging, the long one, just because I like how it looks. It kind of just is like effortless. So this is like how I wear it all the time. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. So you, you hook it around your neck once. And then you hook it once more and then just tuck that one tail in like so 
okay? So this is how I do like the long oversized um, scarf. So now we are gonna do my blanket scarf. So it's like basically like a huge square. So this is like a fleece material and this is from Zara as well. If you don't know, like Zara has the best scarves ever. Like they're so affordable and they're so stylish and super warm, like very good quality. So now I have my scarf here and if you want something super simple to start with, I am going to like fold it in half. So in the, whoa. So I'm going to fold it in half into a rectangle from a square and then I'm going to fold it another, another time and then just when it's like this long triangle or triangle rectangle, you just put that around your neck. And sometimes people just wear it like this with their like coat, like their wool coat, their long wool coat. And that, that basically looks good as, as is. And then sometimes you would probably want to bundle up a little bit more and just kind of tuck it in. And I, I actually don't mind when my hair is tucked in with a scarf because it, it adds extra warmth and it kind of, I don't know, like I feel like it looks kind of stylish. So I would do this, hold on, let me do that again. Let me tuck all of my hair in because I would rather it be tucked in. So yeah, so just once it's around your neck, Pull it a little bit um, closer to the end, like to, to the end of this, this end. Oh my gosh, I suck at explaining things. And then you just do this and tuck. Okay, so this is another one of those cold, you know, freezing rain moments, like super cold. Um, that's how I would do it. And then just put my coat on. Okay, so this way, it's, it's very like effortless and just it's, you're warm, okay? And then down here, you won't have the bulk. So you're not gonna be like, you know, like very bulky. We don't want bulk. So, and that's what I'm trying to achieve here is trying to teach you guys or show you guys, for those who don't know, how to um, wear an oversized scarf without like literally drowning in it. So, um, because they're great. Like if you live downtown and you walk everywhere, you know, you don't drive, you, um, I don't drive, I walk everywhere, I live downtown, so I have to always bundle up when I'm walking around. An oversized scarf is so essential for me. So now the next look is like, I, I don't know, I don't really call them anything. So now I'm just folding it into a triangle. So from a square to a triangle. So now that you have your triangle, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like the, the ends um, don't have to be aligned. Like the ends don't have to be aligned perfectly, but you just have to have like a triangle. So sometimes people just wear this as a shawl. So you can also just wear it as a shawl. And sometimes this is what you would do if you're like, I don't know, like indoors and kind of just want that extra throw on or maybe in the fall when you're just wandering around and you do want an extra layer. But this is not something that I find practical when I am wearing a coat. So when I'm wearing a coat, this is what I do. I just put that, I will wrap my triangle scarf like so, like a, what do you call that? Like a sheriff um, scarf, I don't know. But um, so I just do this, okay? It doesn't have to be um, even or anything. In fact, I like it better when it's not even. So I kind of move this part off center this way. And then the long part, like always, I like to tuck in. Okay, and that's just that's just how it is. And then when you wear your coat, 
I don't tuck in the ends. I leave it out so that I don't have the bulk. And yeah, so this is how I just wear my, <laughs> my oversized scarf, okay? Like this very, very easy and yeah. So basically you just kind of hide the tag too or just cut that tag out. But um, yeah, you can leave your hair tucked in or you can leave it out, you know, whatever you want. But this is basically how I wear it. Just very, very easy and um, without, you know, the bulk in the body part. You know, like it's good to have the bulk up in your neck area, but down here it's, you know, you got to keep that a little um, tailored. So yeah, so this is how I wear it. And I do have an OTD up on my blog if you haven't seen it yet. This is basically what I've been um, wearing lately. Um, my sweatshirt, like I'm obsessed with sweatshirts. So um, I basically just dress it up with a nice scarf and I'm good to go. So very casual. I live a really casual life. So this is how I would um, wear this kind of scarf. So yeah, so that was really, really easy, right? Like I just, you can just leave this out as well if you like, or tuck it in. I usually tuck that in, so just so it stays in place. So yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope this helped you a little bit. Um, some people are intimidated by the oversized look, and I hope I helped you. Um, I don't know, feel more confident in rocking your oversized scarf. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and for the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and um, I'll see you later. Bye.